recollections that fly there in that old curiosity shop. Well, good morning, good morning. We did not dance the whole night through. We listened to the raindrops on the roof. If you're anywhere on the East Coast, it's been raining and it's gonna rain and it's gonna rain. We're going to be in one of those 48 hour periods of beautiful, cool September rain. And boy, we need it. And some of you need it where you are as well. So hopefully when it leaves, the poor old East Coast, it'll head out to wherever you are if you'd like some rain. I'm Scott from the old Curiosity Shop and the rain will not keep me down. Although I'll tell you, it's been one of those, mm-hmm. Well, I've got stuff I've got to do. It's the day after Labor Day and there will be no rest for the weary. <laughs> well, I did rest a little bit yesterday, but the belt on my washing machine broke. And I've not decided whether I'm going to, yeah, I can put a new belt on a washing machine, but it's stacked up on top of the dryer in a difficult place. And my back is 55 year old, years old and it has moved a lot of upright pianos in its time. So I'm thinking, eh, I know I'll pay $150 for somebody to walk in the door, but we'll see gotta fix that so the laundry is on the front seat I'm headed to a law I haven't been to a laundry mat since I was in college I don't think then oh I'm getting wet what's going on then uh, you know the joys um, I ran over a screw it is embedded in my tire and I'm losing air so I've got to go and deal with that sometimes they can patch it sometimes they can't something else happened what else happened oh my phone died I have a new cell phone I'm talking to you on a new cell phone most people would be delighted to have a new cell phone I however went kicking and screaming and when I went into the cell phone store or whatever it is um, the young man behind the counter said what brings you in today and I said I think I need a new cell phone when I pulled out the thing that I was actually using, he fell on the floor with convulsions. Ha ha ha. Bro. He called me bro. I can't believe that thing still works. It's 11 years old. Yes, I had been using a cell phone, the same cell phone, for 11 years. Which means I have to learn all this new stuff and get new, all the new stuff. Nothing works anymore. Ooh. So, um... We're dealing with all new wires and attachments and gizmos, but enough of my mess. We're gonna go do something today after I get this laundry done. I don't know what, but I'm taking you with me. So let's see what happens. How's your day? I hope it's, well, it's, I'm not saying I'm having a bad day. I'm just hoping yours is a little less uh, troublesome than mine. How about that? All right, let's go. Well, we might as well start out with one of the most recognizable and successful uh, lines of American dinnerware. So successful and so recognizable. You don't need me to tell you. You already know what it is. Now this set right here, uh, well, let's just go ahead and say it's made in China, which means it's new. What I consider new. It's pretty. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, I just don't prefer to buy and sell new items, as you know. So The little elephant uh, cream and sugar and teapot is going to be there for someone else to discover. Mm, let's see. That thing. Oh, uh, right. Um, sorry, I got I got my mind on something else. Uh, Moonstone Hawking. That was uh, five dollars. Uh, so I didn't buy it. Boy, I love the colors. The pink and black. Uh, Bavaria. Okay, so a nice German lusterware set. Chocolate pot. Well, we've got some problems. No lid. And only two cups. And all those saucers. Eh. So we'll just move on down the line. I haven't seen any Georges Briard. Bri George? <laughs> can't say it. Briard. Uh, in quite a while. I think I still I still mispronounced it. Now these things, uh, mm, 
the color of them really makes me think of some of the California potteries. And uh, it's the same color, that same color blue that Gladding and McBean made their Coronado out of. I didn't peel any stickers back. Pretty sure it's USA. But something told me that lids were missing. That gravy boat separator thing was uh, chipped. And now I take a close look at the crystal. And of course, you know, crystal just meaning clear glass, not referring to lead content necessarily. I like that for the toilet. That's missing a stopper. I don't know what those three things were uh, in that rubber band. Little teacups and little saucers, odds and ends. Well, there's Ritz Blue Hazel Atlas Modern Tone. We recognize that. Don't need it. It's a creamer and a plate. How much was that? Five dollars? That's fine. Uh, that's not that hard to find, and I don't particularly need those pieces. And I also see that teapot behind it that I didn't uh, show you. Now this... Um, mm, four bucks. Missing its lid. It was probably manufactured. I know I've seen that font somewhere before, that the style of the way salt is written, and I can't remember. It's not marked. It just makes me think of the clear glass that sellers, that was made for the sellers' cabinets, S-E-L-L-E-R-S, -L -L -E which is a Hoosier cabinet. May or may not be, but oh yes, I put that in the cart anyway, even though there was no lid. Here we go with some uh, more Franciscan as we move down the line. That's that old California back stamp. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who remembers the movie, If It's Tuesday, It Must Be Belgium? Well, if it's Tuesday on Frankfurt Avenue, it's 25% off at Circle Thrift, 55 and older. That's me. Circle Thrift is right around the corner. I don't have an umbrella and I don't care. Let's go shop. It's a rainy day. Share my umbrella. Well, yes, but uh, say, you're not the kind of fella who'd uh, ask me over to his apartment just to look at the pictures. Well, uh, it's a rainy day. A rainy day? We can't go walking. I know, but uh, we can stand here talking. But then I'm hoarse. And you've forgotten your goulash. See, <laughs> it's a rainy day. Honey, would a drink do you good? Yeah, I think that it would uh, somehow. I vow. Well, may I ask for a So I, I, I did buy the salt keeper, even though we're missing a lid. And we've got uh, Hanukkah decorations. We have a menorah in the middle of the Halloween decorations. And the Christmas decorations. Nothing vintage in that. Oh, that's kind of cute. Sitting on a pumpkin, a skeleton. I tried to get him to light up, but I guess he was burned out. Yep. I don't really pull out any uh, spooky decorations until, you know, maybe just a week or so before Halloween. But I will be decorating in autumn colors soon. Ooh, creepy doll. She wasn't that bad. All right, what am I going to do now? Oop, okay, we're going to jump. Uh, well, hold your camera still there. All right. What does he see? He sees some uh, candle wick there by uh, uh, Imperial, right? And a chrome cream and sugar, 1930s and 40s. I would have purchased it, but that lid did not go with that creamer, and I could have bought it anyway because creamers normally don't have lids so it was actually a complete set but um i just didn't need it the random set so i left it there i think uh where am i i think i'm at the circle thrift shop on uh, frankfurt avenue oh there's the old convention hall now i took you there a couple of weeks ago in atlantic city this is a, a plate made between the two world wars. Well, actually, that might, that's probably right after the war. That's probably the 50s. Um, and um, 
So convention hall on the boardwalk. I think I end up putting that in my cart. Three dollars. What are you waiting for? Put it in your cart. You don't need it, but you're certainly not going to leave it there. Okay, good. He put it in his cart. <laughs> I love I love talking about myself. Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah. What? Upper? I can't see it. Little random saucers. Mugs, tumblers, whatnot. Ooh, ooh. Do I see a light fixture? Where did you get that? Don't worry, I'll show you in a minute. I will show you in a minute. Well, that was short and sweet, but I've got a couple things to show you. One thing, first of all, for me to give away as a gift, I have a friend who will absolutely love this. She collects uh, vintage photographs uh, of women and in beautiful settings and whatnot, and I think she'll flip over this. It's a photograph, <clears throat> an original photograph that's just been taped on this piece of cardboard here. And you can see uh, it probably dates to, well, before everybody was chopping their hair off and um, probably the Edwardian era, and she's let her hair down there in a very beautiful pose. So isn't that a wonderful uh, piece of photography? Sometimes embossed, you'll see, and I'm not seeing it on here, uh, you know, if this was photographed here in Philadelphia or not, but a beautiful image, which was $5 but it was half price today and I got 25% off above that. <laughs> Two more little things. I really don't need this, but again, it was half price. Uh, this is made in Japan in the 1930s and it says Atlantic City Convention Hall. And I love how they've um, removed the boardwalk and put all this foliage behind it. It didn't look anything like that, and it didn't look like that in the 1930s, but that's what Convention Hall looked like. So, you know, that's where we were listening to the mid Midmarlash pipe organ, the largest musical instrument in the world, which needs millions and many more years to get it restored, but you know they're working on it. That's an old video of mine. You can go back. I'm sorry, the steering wheel's in the way. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but I couldn't pass it by because it was so cheap and I really uh, like that building and that pipe organ. And then for me, this was cute. This was a buck and I got my little discount. This is Mallory Hats. Look at your hat. Everyone else does. He's looking very uh, Orson Welles-ish there. Very smart on the back. Yeah. And it talks about um, the process that makes your Mallory hat uh, moisture proof and keeps it looking smart. Resists perspiration and discoloration. And then we have some little notebook paper on the inside onto which some child has scribbled <clears throat> somewhere. And then in the back, just in case we want to know, we have the 1939 and the 1940, um, which is cute 1930 so I don't know that's that goes in the ephemera box and the best thing of all oh it's wet I'm gonna I'm get wet is this uh, 1920s now this was only ten dollars it was marked down and it's a wonderful ceiling fixture come on now you're supposed to dangle there you go it's a wonderful ceiling fixture we have the everything's here now we need to rewire it. Oh my gosh, you can't see it in here. Can you see it? Anybody who knows anything about houses from the 1920s and 30s knows about these. So we've got two glass shades which are matching and are original and have an original hand painted uh, flower on them. That decorative socket covering there is completely cracked and will have to be replaced. No problem. I got a bunch of them. And then the metal will clean up. Often these little dangly dudes are missing and you have to go out and buy shades. So this is absolutely restorable. 
I have several of these hanging from the basement ceiling in my, ooh, at my parents' house. Now don't break it, you just bought it. Okay, now that the shopping is done, it's time to do the laundry. I'm dreading this. Well, okay, it's time to have a little snack, which I enjoy while I'm out thrifting. I love to stop at Dunkin' Donuts and get myself a little wake-up wrap. It's just the right thing to tide you over between breakfast and lunch and lunch and dinner. And I'm having bacon and egg with no cheese. All right, I won't smack my lips in front of you. I have moved on from the circle thrift. It's still a gloomy gloom, but the rain has slacked up a little bit and uh, it's cool out and overcast, but the sun is coming back tomorrow, so says the weather lady. How about that fantastic light fixture from the circle thrift? Today's light fixture day. Mm-hmm. I found three more. Oh, I wish I hadn't told you that. I just ruined the mystery. Forget that I said that. Let me pull this off. Now, ignore that the chains are hanging the wrong way. Um, it's because they're not attached to the ceiling. Um, the chains, when they're not hanging down like that, um, are attached to the ceiling fixture itself. So here's a beautiful 1930s uh, sort of cream and crystal glass um, really a bedroom light shade or shade for the hallway and it's rare that I find them where they still have their chains connected to them so that's nice and um, I didn't find just one I didn't find two I found thrice that's right three of these bad boys all matching and they were five dollars each fifteen dollars for the three depression era glass shades and I'm getting stuff all over me. And I might need these very soon. Am I opening up an antique lamp store? Maybe. Will I need them in a property other than the one that I live in currently? Maybe. I'm not telling you. Don't ask me any questions. <laughs> I'm just going to be mysterious. You'll find out when it's time. Okay. Ooh, there was dust. I think I'm getting... Alright. I always look through the books, and I love reading about history and presidential history, and I don't think I've read this uh, biography of uh, Bess Truman by daughter Margaret Truman, so I can't wait to get into that. I do know that Mrs. Truman was not happy about being First Lady. There she is with daughter Margaret over here. I wonder if that's before her piano leg went through the... Uh, through the floor of the White House. Anyway, I'll be picking around at that. And now let me show you some of the things from the thrift shop. I should have unwrapped all of this ahead of time, but I didn't do it. Maybe it makes it more fun. Maybe it makes it annoying. I don't know. This is filthy, but I never ever see this is a refrigerator dish, yeah? It, the top of it is really dirty. Um, I have handy wipes in here somewhere. Look how deco that is with the stepped sides. And we see that color that reminds us of early Pyrex and early glass bake. And that's, that's what this is. This is a glass bake refrigerator dish. And I just don't ever find refrigerator dishes made by glass bake uh, in this era which would be the late 30s into the early well it's a 1930s piece oh my goodness okay unfortunately there was only one let me tell you what when I saw the one I as quickly as I could uh, it was a dollar 49 hazel atlas candy cane stripe this stuff goes for woo 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 woo. Yeah, and I had a whole set of it years ago, 30 years ago. I was about 20 years old, so it was longer than that. It was 35 years ago. 
selling at a, uh, an antique show. Oh, and I let it go for nothing, but it wasn't, it, it's, this stuff is more valuable now than it was then. Uh, anyway, they only had the one tumbler, so I don't know if, if, uh, if you ever see this out there, please don't hesitate. The cups and saucers are valuable as well. Uh, what is this? Oh, this. I wasn't going to buy it, but then if I didn't buy it, you guys would get mad at me because it was only $4. Uh, it's Depression Era salt. And this would probably, uh, a lot of this reminds me of the glass made by sellers that was specifically meant to go in sellers cabinets, which is a type of a Hoosier cabinet. I'm doing a lot of air quotes here. This one doesn't have the S on the bottom for sellers, but that's what it reminds me of. Uh, salt, salt, salt. So 1930s, no lid. Okay, it's going to be great for a vintage kitchen anyway. Uh, but no lid. And this is the last thing which I will probably add, keep for a while. This reminds me so much of, well, first of all, I'm certain it's hocking. Pretty certain it's hocking. And I think I had this once before. The, the little sort of quilted diamonds it looks very much like the Waterford pattern. Not Waterford, water, I'm trying to say it the right way. I say water, I'd say Waterford. <laughs> It looks like Waterford, not Waterford glass. We're going to talk about the glass that, that comes from overseas. It has nothing to do with lead content. But Hawking had a pattern, a Windsor pattern. Uh, and they had a Waterford pattern, which looks like this. You've seen me drink out of the tumblers before. But there's a little thumbprint. Like all the little triangles have been pushed in. Beep, 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 beep. So it still matches Waterford. The, the 1930s Waterford pattern very beautifully and I like this little tiny breakfast table size okay oh absolutely essential if you are a thrifter absolutely essential because ugh, uh, nothing worse than somebody else's dirty kitchen drippings, right? Okay, let's go to um, another shop, which is basically right across the street. Here we go. All on a rainy day. Is that okay, honey? Okay. Driver, take us to the YMCA. Just a minute. 